Hello everyone, welcome back to Learning to Play StarCraft 2. My name is James and I'm from the gaming podcast 8.5-Bit. And this is the second episode of me playing through each of my placement matches in StarCraft and then going back and seeing what I did, seeing what I could have done better, hopefully get some feedback from you guys. I just finished a Protoss vs Terran match that I'm just going to jump into now and we can see how I go. Okay guys, I'm just going to kick this off and we can see how it goes. So, first thing, very first thing is, yep, yeah, pop out some probes. I, I also uh, went and signed my Nexus to number three, just so I can quickly access to get that, to get my speed boosts. And then of course the good luck have fun, he beat me to it, making me look like a bit of a dick. But you know, I, I replied, I've got to make sure that you're nice before you start. So a quick look up what he's doing, I mean it's early game, so there's not too much going on yet. Basically it's just, you know, getting out the workers and the probes. So my plan here again is to try and get a, a pylon out at about 9 because I don't want to get supply blocked, meaning like I said last time, I'm unable to build anything because this number is maxed out. Uh, so I've got one on the way now. Um, I don't have enough energy yet to do a chrono boost and let's see if I time it right. No, see I should have had it out about now. I've kind of missed the, missed the opportunity to use it. I really want to get it when it's about 25. So I've got my... I've got my probe here, and I kind of messed up a little bit here. I didn't quite have the cash for the for the pylon, uh, so he was there not mining uh, while waiting just to get the cash. So it's come down. So now I've actually got my chrono boost going, so that is, those probes should come out faster. And I'm going just to try a pretty standard build. I'm just going to try and get out some gateways and just try the four gate. It's it's worked well for me before, so I want to get four gateways out. Uh, and then use it to start getting out some units quickly. Uh, so we jump up to see what the other guy is doing. And we can see here he's just building a supply depot. He's going to try and wall this off so I can't get in. Um, he's only got one, so resources at the moment here are uh, yeah, close. He's got a few more minerals than I do. We look at the production. We're, you know, we're producing about the same kind of thing. He's, he's getting out his barracks. This is where he's going to start be able to pull out some marines. Uh, so yeah, we'll jump back over here and see how I'm going. So I've got my chrono boost done here going well. Um, I've got my gateway coming soon. This is going over there to build it. Um, and all right, so more pros, making sure I keep up that. I've, I've been chrono boosting this. You can see that I don't have enough energy, which means that, you know, I've actually been, I've been doing, I've been doing okay to try and keep the speed up of producing those probes. And see how it's going. So all right, so you can see here, he's, he's got his barracks in there. He's gonna put another supply depot there. Uh, when he can, just to stop me scouting, because I'm going to be looking to scout pretty soon. I'm at 14 supply, um, so yep, you can see it right here. So this is my scout coming out. I'm going to actually try and scout properly last time, not like my last one. That was a complete and utter fail. Uh, this is also quite a big map, so it's going to take a while to get there. I mean, I think this works a little bit in probably Protoss' favor, because I get to be left alone while, while I try to build up a little more. Um, interestingly, he's not scouting it yet. He's just still kind of focused on building here. Um, so I'm also starting to get my gas, because I'm going to want a bit of gas, because apparently Protoss needs a lot of gas. Um, another pylon down there. Um, all right, so let's just uh, keep following this guy. I might just speed this up just a little because it is a it is a pretty big map. Um, so come and check out down here because I don't know where he is at this point. So uh, you can see here, come down here, nothing there. Uh, so I've got to keep looking. All right, so I've got out my first gateway and first thing I'm going to do is get a couple of zealots. So they're on the way just to kind of sit there and hold the position in case it gets in any early attacks, any early harassing harassment. Um, all right, so we can see here he is plucking down another barrack, so he's going to be you know, producing a few more, a few more marines and things like that. Um, he still doesn't have. Let's see what his his active forces are. Look at his units at the moment. So at the moment he's we could look about even on on drones, um, and he's got out a reaper. So the reaper is good for the early harass because it can kind of jump up and down, uh, up and down walls. So you see here. He's currently on the way. Um, so he's going to come down here and he's, he's scouting for me as well. He left scouting a little later than I did, but he's going to come up here and have a look. And you can see here, he's blocked He's blocked this off. So even though I've come up here and I've found him, I can't actually get in to see what he's building. Uh, and he's got to add another Reaper who's going to finish off that probe. So I couldn't get him back to uh, to try and get some more resources from him. So okay, so this is this other guy, he's still out scouting. I mean, I'm pretty content. I've, I've found him up here now. Um, so I can go back and focus on what I'm doing. I'm getting out a few more zealots. I probably should be getting out, 
getting out some more stalkers rather than zealots. And you can see there, I just decided to get out some zealots. Um, I haven't been doing that well with my energy. You can see that I only just did a chrono boost to speed this up, um, and it's just ticked over to 25 again, but I did use it up very quickly to try and get out my probes. Uh, okay, so I've also got my uh, Cybernetics Core here, which is which is on the Warp Gate technology, which is the tech which lets me get out units faster. Okay, so he's coming in here, um, and we can see that he's going to try and just a bit of harass on my mineral line. Um, so what I do is I quickly I pull off pull off my probes, which is, you know, it's stopping me from mining, which kind of sucks. And you, know, you can see he's ahead of me in supply there. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to get my Zealots to chase him down. They're pretty fast, so they're hard to, hard to get. And he's also getting a good scout on me at this point. Um, because we can, we can see, this is what, you know, we can see here. Um, so if we have a look at what he managed to scout, he pretty much, this is from his vision, we can see that he pretty much saw everything. Whereas from my perspective, you can see all I've seen is this. So he's done a better job of scouting than I have. Okay, so, uh, let's have a look at production. So what are you producing? So I've got some stalkers on the way. He's starting to get out some marines. Uh, and at this point, I'm just going to build a few more gateways. Okay, so I'm building another four gateways so I can quickly use the warp gate technology to get out stuff. Um, we can also see that he's going for an expand. He's got he's got a lot of minerals, so you know he's probably got the resources there to get that out. Um, and he's starting to build up some marines. So let's just speed this up a little bit. Okay, so. He's just been harassing a little more, bit more down here, but I managed to fight him off. Um, and he's he's kind of up here with his, his reapers, just sort of doing uh, doing some more scouting. Um, just going for an early harass, but I'm pretty well protected here. He's he's not kind of getting up into my base and, and sort of getting into my units. He also hasn't really gotten in here to see too much since the initial scout. Right, so I'm also just getting out a couple of, uh, of uh, stargates so that I can use this to start getting a couple of air units. Um, because I don't really know that much about good unit composition yet I'm just sort of going for a little bit of everything so you know my, my idea here is I'm just gonna basically try and build a, a Protoss death ball you know just get leave me alone long enough I can build up that death ball and hopefully roll over whatever it is that he's pulling out um, and if we see what he's doing so far he's just building mostly Marines um, he's researching combat shield which I guess makes him a little tougher um, and I don't really have any any uh, units on the way apart from kind of probes and building by stargates um, so about this time I'm thinking I probably should expand soon um, I've probably left this a little late my minerals are kind of low he's got a lot of minerals a lot of uh, unspent minerals he probably should be building something else to just kind of spend those a little more uh, I think I, I probably should have I probably should have uh, expanded a little earlier um, okay so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna go up and try harass so I've got I've got this unit here uh, which is the mothership call and I've got this part of this because it is the ability to recall to teleport back you can see here so even if even if you did have an attack on the way I could quickly pull back to my base to to try and take it you know to try to defend it if I needed to uh, so just gonna hit up big maps so I'll speed it up a little bit again um, so just gonna go up here and just explore a little bit I just uh, stopped while I waited for my units to group back up again just do a quick scout here no nothing there okay so just coming up to the main base now um, so we can see he's got yeah he's got a decent number of marines um, so I start I start kind of hitting on this um, drop down the top this kind of slows him down a little now I've really overcommitted here um, I'm, I'm losing way too much so yeah they got my mothership core I've lost I've lost all my zealots I do pull these guys back um, but I probably should have pulled out a little bit earlier because I've, I've lost a few resources there if we have a look at the resources lost well you can actually see we're not too far off even though I've you know I've come in and I've I've done a bit of an harass. It's not. It's not that bad. Um, as you can see, he's got a lot of unspent resources. But I'm. I'm kind of the same. You know, I've. I've got. I've got a few there. Oh, he jumped out here. So basically, uh, you know, I've. I've done a harass. I'm just pulling back. Uh, what's this guy doing? Oh, uh, got. I got. As he got out. That's cool. Yeah, he, he, he's escaped. Okay. So this is. Uh, this is left way too late. So now. i Now I'm expanding. Um, I've also got yeah this guy here, so he's going to pop down a couple of pylons, uh, a few pylons, because uh, I want to start kind of defending here now that I've got maybe expanded into my my natural. Um, so popping down some pylons, and now I'm starting to make void rays. Um, you know, like they they're good because I can kind of harass, I can kind of they're flying units, I can send them up around here and over here to try to get on the mineral line. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to send these units. You see, I'm just going to make the way up there. Just a couple. I mean, I only really want to just basically keep him on his toes. I'm not expecting to do too much damage. 
Okay, you can see he's just sent in another Reaper down there because he was trying to, I guess, scout a bit. He must have been watching. He just ran straight past my units and they ripped him apart. Um, so, yep, yeah, uh, I've got a unit here. I've got a probe here. He's doing nothing. Too much Zerg. Too much Zerg. I'm used to these things being consumed whenever I build a unit. Uh, so I should have been keeping an eye on that. Uh, so, all right, I've got my gateway in the way. I'm just going to... Uh, my next is on the way. I'm just going to get in a couple more zealots, and you can see his, his production. He's, he's starting to get a bit. He's going for the upgrades. He's going for the uh, he's going for the stim pack, which is something which lets the the marines uh, do a burst of damage at the cost of health. Uh, but because I've seen him do a lot of marines, I'm starting to get out the uh, immortals, which at least according to the help are the counter <laughs> to marines. So now what I'm doing is I've got my I've got my works facility. I probably should have built a couple more of these, or at least one more, so I could get this out a little faster. I'm also looking at this. I've got full energy here, and I'm not chrono boosting things. I really should be doing that. I uh, also drop out of Twilight Council. Um, at this point, I'm just trying to build everything so my options are open. Um, so if we jump up to here, we can see I've got four Void Rays here. Um, so let's just send them. I'm just sending them in to try and kind of harass his mineral line a little. Um, there's nothing here in this expansion. You see they're going to come over here. We can see he has a lot of marines at this point. Um, and he's just producing more. Um, not And not much else. So come along here. Just hit his mineral line. He's going to send these guys over. Uh, I should have got away a little earlier. Um, try and finish off a probe. Uh, but, you know, he didn't get me, so it was, it was worth I managed to finish off one of his workers. Um, and we just have a look at else what he's doing. Um, he's building a factory. You know, I've, I've, you know, I'm just sort of keeping him on his toes. So they've kind of done the job. They're pulling back a little bit and go back here to my main my main forces. Um, so I'm just going to keep producing some units. Um, I've got my probes down here. You see that I've built the uh, assimilators, but I haven't actually put any, haven't actually put any, uh, any probes in them. Um, but at this point, I kind of need more minerals anyway, so it's probably not so bad. Um, so I've just also thrown down some photocannons, just some uh, turrets, just to kind of help defend the place. Okay, so all right, I've got my void rays here. I I think I just sent these here and then kind of forgot about them a little bit. I was trying to use them just to scout out the map a little bit to see if he had any more expansions on the way. Now we can see from the map that he doesn't actually have any expansions on the way. Um, he's really just building lots and lots of marines, uh, lots. He's not doesn't sort of going into much variety at all. Uh, so you know, if you look down at my unit composition, I don't have that many units, but apparently these are good against marines. So I mean, look, that's good for me. Um, just building some more void rays, and this mineral patch here is getting a little low. So I, I should be looking at kind of getting another expansion soon because I don't want this to run out and kind of stop my mineral intake. Because if we look at the moment, that's really that's really what's stopping me. Um, I've got plenty of gas going. But just not enough minerals. Uh, so I've got another void right here, just sending him over to the main group. So this is, must be why I was kind of leaving him here, uh, just because I wanted them to kind of group up before I went in for another harass. So heading them up, heading them up to the main base again, have a quick scout along here. It's like, no, nothing there. So it's right, let's go to the back of the base. So I come up here, you can see he's got down one turret, which I just completely ignored. I should have really been on that a lot earlier. Um, so. I'm going to lose one of the Void Rays right there. And you can see he's got the Marines. I pull out. Will this survive? I can't remember. Yes, he did. So he just survived. Uh, and you can see he's got so many Marines and not much else. Uh, and he's got one bunker there for defending if I was to roll up. So these Void Rays are going to pull back. You can see him come down here. Um, and I've got my, little, my, my growing Death Ball here. Uh, and about this time... I am going to start getting out Colossus, the uh, the big units. So you see, I've got them coming. I don't have a Chrono Boost, and once again, I've got a mostly full energy bar on the Nexus. Uh, and I've also gone and thrown down another expansion here because I am getting very low on my mineral line back at my main. Um, this, this base is doing quite well. I've got, I've got probes on the workers now, uh, and this one here is kind of coming along. So I've got this thing here. I've got my, my growing Death Ball. Look at my production. I've also got if I've got uh, extended thermal lance, which increases the range of the Colossus. There he is, there, that big guy. Um, all right, so got a few more on the way. I'm also going to get a couple of observers because in case I've got any cloaked units. Um, I've got this base here that's built, um, but I haven't actually got anything on it yet. So it's just sitting there doing not a lot. I really should have been pulling off these off the mineral line much sooner. Uh, take them up to the base. You can see there I go there. So you know they're they're making the way up to that that expansion now. 
But you know, this is looking pretty good. This is looking kind of scary. Um, so let's just send it up, and we can see, bam, up here, he's got a, he's got another uh, group unit coming down as well, and it's nothing but marine. Oh, and a, a few marauders at the back. Uh, so that's coming down, and it's on the way. We're going to uh, have a head-to-head -head clash with my my Protoss, my Protoss ball. Okay, so we can see it's uh, yep. Well, kind of pulled back a little bit. This, <laughs> this guy, he probably he probably should have come back. He's he's gone down. I don't know what was going on there. Uh, so kind of pull back. I just I kind of didn't want to commit just quite yet. Drop down the time warp. <coughs> this is so. <coughs> This is so it just kind of slows him down. It probably isn't really that much use here, um, but it probably scared him a little bit, maybe. You can see he dropped the stim pack, that's why the health went down, it's a little bit of extra damage, but they're really just getting chewed up by this Colossus and the Immortals. Uh, it's this one this one uh, healing unit is really not enough to just stop the onslaught of damage that we're getting from this. Uh, so another Colossus joins a fray, and this is going to clean them all up. So we can see there. They're just going to make their way across the map now. So at this point, it's like, no, I'm going to push, you know. I, I kind of know that was the bulk of his units. Uh, so they're just going to head across the map, run up here. Just wait for them to kind of regroup up. Um, so he's going to come up, come up here. So he's got his one bunker. See, again, more Marines, more Marauders. Uh, his one bunker. So here we go. So he's just waiting here for my units to group up. And then, bam, come in, just take down that bunker. Uh, and then there's Colossus and the Immortals and the Void Race, they just eat everything up. Uh, just those, those Medivacs just do not have enough healing to kind of cope with the amount of damage I'm putting out. Uh, coming up and just, uh, you know, just decimating the space. Um, see here, I'm just going to go for the, uh, for the, com that, and yes, yeah. Get all, there we get the GG. Um, I think his problem was he just, yeah, went, went too many Marines. Uh, you know, I was probably still slow, I'm normally pretty slow. Um, but he probably just needed a better unit composition. Um, so there you go, guys, my second placement match, and I actually did, I actually did okay. So, um, give us a watch, and, you know, just let me know what you think, if I could have done better, what I did bad, and, um, I'll let you guys know how I go with the next match.